Before I get started, let me remind you that this podcast was created using Anchor.fm. If you haven't heard about Anchor, it is the easiest way to make a podcast. Let me explain. First, it's free. There are amazing creation tools that allow you to edit and record your podcast right from your phone or computer. Anchor also distributes your podcast for you, takes all the guesswork and legwork out of it, so it can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and many more. No extra work for you. Best of all, you can make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership. This is everything you need to make a podcast all in one place. So download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. Anchor.fm, get started on your podcast today. This podcast will fail. Probably. Maybe. Not really sure. Episode 76, this podcast will fail. Well, hi there. Happy New Year. How are you? How was your holiday season? It is 2021. Uh, Today is January 5th, and we're going to try to get back at this and have some more conversations, get some more things going, talk to some more people, find some more topics. Give me an excuse to talk to this here recording device, and uh, I suppose by default to you, um, every day. <laughs> At least that's the goal. So I guess I'm going to title this season as Finding Meaning and Finding Purpose. I'm still looking for what it is I really want to do. I'm still looking for for the, um, the, the goal, the reason, the, uh, what, what, what is it I'm trying to achieve here in talking to you, uh, via podcast every single day. I took a a really nice break from almost literally everything, uh, at the end of last year, just before Christmas. And I, when I say everything, I mean pretty much everything save for, um, holiday, activities with my wife and kids. (laughs) Literally nothing else took place for a span of uh, 10, 11, 12 days. I took a week off of work. When you wrap a week off of work around a couple of holidays that fall on Fridays and then you got, you know, uh, weekend days that you wrap in there and it turns a a five day week into a, a much longer period of time, which is really nice. And I think I, I definitely needed that ability to stop and not think about anything, not worry about anything other than making sure that Santa gets the presents under the trees, making sure that the kids have a great Christmas morning when they wake up and there's gifts for them to open and there's food for us to share and there's, and there's, there's time to laugh and time to play and, and a, a, a time to sleep in. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, I laugh because um, the definition of day and night is like almost completely flipped in my house right now. I, nobody gets up. Uh, well, okay, I'm back to work now. You know, this is my first day back at work, and I'm the only schmuck getting up at uh, stupid o'clock in the morning and leaving to go to work now. But you know, generally speaking, all of my kids are homeschooled. Uh, the college age kids are not back at college yet. I think they go back in about two weeks, two and a half weeks. So everybody's just kind of just, just winding down and taking it easy and not worrying about it. Right. The kids, uh, their school is online. They'll do their classes. They're fine. My wife works two days a week, uh, where she goes into the, the library. She's a librarian. The other two days she works from home doing clerical work and research work and, and, uh, busy work. So, but I'm back in the real world now, <clears throat> as I say, going into the office for the first time sucked. <laughs> There's COVID everywhere. Uh, one of the, one of the managers, uh, a good, good guy, good friend of mine is uh, unfortunately hospitalized right now. So, um, kind of thinking about him, um, all of my employees appear to be healthy for the moment. I'm there's no wood in this car to knock on, but knock on 
something, wood, there's a tree over there. I'm virtually knocking on wood. We're okay so far. Um, lockdown pretty, pretty tight as far as uh, keeping COVID out of my house. Well, that's where, that's where I'm at. So now it's a, a matter of figuring out what I'm doing here. Why I'm talking is this, is this podcast like, is this just a diary? Right? I don't think it is. I, I, I know that as a, a lifelong content creator, I, I want to find meaning and purpose. And I want to have more to the story than just jumping on and going, Dear Diary, here's what happened to me today. So I'm looking for more. Um, watching two of my friends uh, who we've heard from, both of them on this podcast, uh, Caleb and Matt have both uh, continued on, and I missed an opportunity because I'm a schmuck uh, to connect with them and do a podcast over the break. And, and and this is how stupid it is. It was my idea. I'm the one <laughs> I'm the one that said on the way out of the building, <clears throat> way back on December 22nd, that, um, you know, hey, we should get together, guys. I should, you know, I'll, I'll shoot you a message. Yeah, I'll shoot you a message while I'm on vacation, and maybe we'll... We'll get the three of us to get it. I did. I just didn't even. It didn't even cross my mind. Dumbass. And then I find out this morning that Matt and Caleb went ahead and got together without me. So now, <laughs> now I'm really the dumbass, and I missed the chance to have a good conversation. So I'm just. Uh, I need meaning uh, to this thing. I, I got to figure out what the purpose is. I don't know what the widget. Right. Everything I do is is somehow related back to. Uh, creating something and accomplishing a goal. And I spent a lot of time in this podcast from September, October, November, December, just kind of working my way through those questions and those those frustrations and, and fears and, and trying to, to, to put a pin on the map of what this podcast is supposed to be about. And, in, and that's why I was so certain that this podcast would fail. But the the, you know, hey, folks are still listening. So thank you. If you're one of those regular folks, I really appreciate the fact that you are jumping in and, and at least giving it a listen. So in that spirit, I want to provide some more um, interesting things to listen to than just me bitching about my day or being frustrated that I can't do X. So we're going to we're going to we're going to figure out what that is. And I do definitely want to have more conversations with folks, maybe try to get some uh, more quote unquote interviews, but I don't know what those interviews are supposed to be about necessarily. I'm just looking for interesting people to talk to and get their life experiences. And, and, but I, I like topics and I like, I like, um, I like having a reason, right? I, I had this grand idea, uh, as I was winding down season four, I was thinking to myself, like, you know what? I could do a new podcast. Here we go. I was going to launch a new podcast. I had this, this grand notion that I was going to like do a, a weekly, uh, current news and events type of podcast. And Jesus Christ, it sounds like so much work. <laughs> it just seems like a lot of work trying to line up guests or trying to line up a co-host and somebody that would be willing to jump on with me at a specific time every single week, have a conversation with me about what went on the week before. Like, you know, like, like last week tonight with John Oliver, right? And maybe find, maybe find the, the humor, um, other than me laughing at my own stupidity on a regular basis. The, the, this has been a very serious podcast here. So I thought, okay, maybe I can create a new property and go after a new thing. And then just as I was ready to start kind of putting pen to paper on that, I stopped myself and I was like, hey, you know how in season one of this podcast will fail, you sat there and said, your number one problem is you come up with these grand ideas that you think are somehow going to turn into big things and they never do. Uh, uh, are you setting yourself for f up for failure here? That was that was what stopped me in my tracks and said, all the time and effort and energy that I would have to devote to that project, is it worth it? Am I going to frustrate myself? Am I going to be, you know, disappointed with the results? Or, you know, am I going to be let down by somebody who commits to a project and says, you know, I'm really not having fun with this. I'm going to go by and now I'm on my own again. So I didn't, I didn't go anywhere with it. I didn't, 
I just I just put it aside and said, no, that's fine. And it, it's, <laughs> it's too much work. It's too much work. But, I, but I'm interested. I'm interested to, to do something. Just do something. So I got to do something uh, and potentially with um, with the, with this, right? This 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 podcast. And I don't know. I, I suppose this podcast can still be that quiet, anonymous, behind the scenes thing that I do for myself. And, and if someone happens to listen, that's great. I, I can still possibly utilize this format for um, for this purpose, for me to be able to, to, to talk out loud and, uh, and record my thoughts. And because there's other, okay, part two, here's part two of today's um, conversation. So while I, while I say that I really wasn't thinking about anything, I was also putting some thoughts back into some of my previous um, content creation type work that I do, that I have done. Um, most specifically, I found myself, uh, puttering around with animation software of all things. I, I had a previous project. It was a, um, I've talked about this in previous seasons, but a long time ago, I hosted an internet radio show. I, I had a, um, a character, a personality that I played, played the part of the host. And it was, um, you know, it was kind of a Howard Stern wannabe thing. And it was great. A couple of good years doing that. Uh, two years ago, I think it was two years ago, maybe three, I launched it again as a live YouTube um, game show that I hosted every week, and that was great. Um, but I also, I did a weird thing. Um, one of those live shows, like, inspired a song, so I wrote and recorded a song, like a full three-and-a-half-minute thing. And I never did anything with it. I had intended to shoot a music video for it as the character. The character is obviously who's singing the song. And uh, yeah, it was just another one of those things that I just kind of put it down and never never looked at it again. Well, <clears throat> I found myself looking at it again this past week. And I, and I thought to myself, you know, maybe I could animate it. Maybe I can find a way to just do some really simplistic 2d graphics and, and, and turn this character that I played live for all those years into a cartoon, all right? Let me cartoonize this dude. And, um, and then I can, I can animate the sequences around the song that I wrote and that would be interesting to me. So while I say there was a lot of downtime, a lot of that downtime was actually spent uh, trying to teach myself, uh, animation, uh, scouring the internet for free software that I could use to create the cartoon version of myself and then animate him. And that way be able to set that to the music. I I, I got some progress. (laughs) I will say that I was able to successfully animate the first, uh, 40 seconds, maybe not 35, 40 seconds of this three and a half minute song. (laughs) So, so it's there and it's, um, yeah, it's, it's still out there. It's, I don't know. It's, I kind of stopped, uh, by new year's day. I was like, okay, let me just, let me just put that aside. Cause you know, now my eyes are crossing a little bit and I'm, I'm getting redundant with, with what I'm trying to figure out how to do and I don't know what I'm doing and it looks stupid and I can't make it work and nothing's working the way I want it to work. So, okay, fine. I'm done. There's that, you know, there's this, this thought that I could revive, revive that character and revive that content in the form of 2d animation. And it would be funny and it would be silly and it would be something I could put back out there. So there's that. I don't remember who I was talking to exactly about this, uh, but I also dawned on me that I, I could, and there's like this possibility <clears throat> that I could use podcasting, uh, as a way to revive my YouTube channel, because in addition to podcasting and to the goofy, silly radio show character that I play, I also have run a YouTube channel for four or five years with, you know, kind of serious, deep thought discussion topics. Um, I could, I could, I could go for those topics 
in podcast form and begin to publish new content uh, without having to worry about picking up a camera. You know, that was that was the, the number one thing about the YouTube channel was, again, the amount of work necessary to try and plan videos and, and, and storyboard them out in my head, but not really because what it comes down to is I'm out in the world, in my car, at my job, in, in life, recording myself talking about things, and then all of the time to compile that and edit it. Is the lighting right? Does it sound right? The, the right camera angles, the setups, and it just, you know, it was it was, it was a, a passion for a long time, but the amount of work, Christ's sake. I, I had this notion that I could, I could simplify that, and I, um, I purchased a, a, a dash cam, and I was just going to dash cam, right? That's great. I can get really cool, crystal clear, 4D, 4, 4, 4, 8, HD, 4K, whatever, <laughs> uh, video, and, and, and I could talk, and I could just podcast it, and then the camera got stolen <laughs> right out of the car. So that stopped, but, but nonetheless, there is an opportunity for me to go after those, those topics again, those deeper meaning, deeper discussion, um, on a channel that already has a following. That's, that's, I guess the difference is right. The YouTube channel never really failed. I just lost my mojo, right? And, and such as to say, uh, I ran out of things to say. I said everything I wanted to say at the time. When I, when I, when I finally laid it to rest and said, okay, that's it, we're done. I'm frustrated. I, I don't like this anymore. It was because I, I had run out of inspiration and I had run out of things to say. I've gone through this kind of self-therapy over the last four or five months. And uh, I, I definitely feel better about things. You know, and I and I know that spending all those hours just mindlessly meandering through, you know, animation software and and listening to that song that I wrote and recorded, it's ridiculous. It's it's kind of quasi comedy. Looking back at the things I did on the YouTube channel that I could do again. And and since I'm enamored with this concept of just talking, uh and it's pretty easy to get good, clean audio right away and just go ahead and publish that <clears throat> with a minimal amount of, of editing and, and production value and all that nonsense. I can do that again on my YouTube channel. So that's that's a thought. And that might give me meaning and purpose. And if I did that, that would mean that I can still continue to use this podcast, which will fail, uh, as this portal for me to just talk, but like behind the scenes, behind the camera, right? I can still remain anonymous. I can still not worry about telling you my name, not worry about whether or not it matters, whether or not there's, there's downloads and all this other, it doesn't matter, right? There's a YouTube channel sitting there with a couple thousand subscribers. It's fully monetized. It makes money. So I can potentially, with with a minimum of effort, revive that, and I can revive the radio show character too. And and again, it, there's a lot more work involved in the any animation stuff. But I, I feel like once I once I do finally get my head wrapped around that concept and I learn how to do it properly, yeah, well, there's probably more opportunities there for me to uh, figure this out. So. So that's where we are. This is uh, the launch of season five, which is, I guess this is like the, maybe the, the part, part act three. I don't know. <laughs> it's season five and it's like act three. And this is now like my redemption arc <laughs> for myself, right? Ready to get back in the saddle, ready to make shit again, right? Re ready to just let that creative flow out, let it loose. What does that mean for this? I don't know. I, I don't want this to just be a dear diary. I want to talk to people and find out their experiences and get their thoughts and, and, and bring you those conversations here. But I might have to do that on the YouTube channel. I don't know. I don't know. There's a, there's a lot to think about and a lot to consider. So. so that's what we'll do. I think I will still come here every day and uh, talk to you about what's on my mind and what's going on and 
if you listen, great. Thank you. I I think I may also be ready to launch uh, some type of a mechanism and that dirty word, two, two dirty words, social media. Maybe. I don't know. I'll, I'll probably have to decide by the end of the week, but that's it. We'll stop here for today. Uh, if you did take a couple minutes out to listen, thank you. Thank you for your time. I appreciate it very much. I guess I will be back tomorrow and give you my continuing thoughts on what I'm working on and where we go from here. Uh, wherever you are, I hope, sincerely hope that you and yours are safe and healthy and happy. Happy New Year to you. I look forward to talking to you again. I'll talk to you tomorrow for sure, but for now, have a good one.